up, Steve. Snatching all these. Go, 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 go. I gotta know. Bitch, I'll be looking outside your door. Wait, wait. I gotta go. 24 7 live on the low. Yo, what up, it's your boy Bam to bring you guys the long awaited how to snipe on Black Ops Cold War video. This video is highly requested, and I'll be giving you guys the best tips, the best settings, the best class setups, talking about movement and gameplay on this video. And if I do miss anything, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like if you guys want me to do a part two if I do miss anything, and let me know down below in the comment section if this video helps you at all. I would really love to know. But I'll be just explaining to you guys my knowledge on everything on how to snipe on Black Ops Cold War. So now we're gonna get right into our class up. I do have the double tundra class. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys the class up that you guys should be using, and then I'm gonna be showing you guys the class up that I use. So what I want you guys to try to use, I want you guys to use the Tiger Team Barrel, the Tiger Team Spotlight, the Seven Round Mag, the Airborne Elastic Wrap, and the Marathon Pad. And I want to go in depth on the Tiger Team Spotlight. This reveals a distance, meaning it gives you the little red dot over the enemy's head. I'm sure you guys probably have seen it in some of my clips before, or maybe you guys watched someone else's clip. But yes, this is the red dot over the enemy's head, and you guys see it when using this attachment. Now I want to go over my class up, and this is the Tiger Team Barrel, the Tiger Team Spotlight, the Speed Grip, the Seven Round Mag, and the Airborne Elastic Wrap. Now the reason why I take off Marathon pad because i feel like i don't need to use it especially when against snipers i play in a snipers only mosh pit so i feel like i'm still fast enough to even use this attachment this does help out sprint the fire time which is actually very very useful but since you can only use five attachments i replace this and i use the speed grip now speed grip helps me move a lot faster and i'll be explaining a little bit more about movement in this video but this all comes down to movement and how i move i like moving a lot faster as you can see in the clips at the beginning of the video and that goes the same thing with the pelican i have the tag team barrel the tiger team spotlight the seven round mag the airborne elastic wrap and the marathon pad and i want all of you guys to just load up your guns maybe you guys can see it for yourselves some of you guys that are new to sniping probably don't have all these attachments so make sure you have all your stuff leveled up we're gonna go on to the bear 50 cal i have the tag team barrel the underbarrel speed grip the sound round mag the airborne elastic wrap and the cqb pad so all the guys that are going for the diamond snipers or want to get gold on the bear 50 cal aka the m82 i do suggest this class setup for you guys so i have the stim shot i have the tomahawk i have the field mic and something i do want to talk about a little bit are the perks and the perks that i'm using i have tactical mask so you're immune to flashbangs, stun grenades, and then gas mines. So you're gonna want to use this at all times. Now the reason I don't have flak jackets is because I'm using scavenger because I play on snipers only. If you're not playing snipers only, then you can honestly take out scavenger and put on flak jacket. But since I'm in snipers only, I use scavenger so I can go on streaks and get more ammo. And then I run gun ho. Now when using gun ho, so I can swap guns a lot faster. And you're gonna want to use the perk tree called Lawbreaker. Now Lawbreaker allows you to use another primary gun and equip multiple perks from one perk category. So you can actually take out scavenger and like I said, put on flak jacket. So you have two perks in the same category let me know if you guys have any other questions about class setups if anything you guys want me to try out or if you guys feel like it could be a lot better than what i use so first what i do recommend before i do anything i do recommend you guys to just warm up your shot before you guys go online or maybe you guys want to warm up your shot while you guys go online because that's what i do this is what i used to do every single time before i get online and that's warming up my shot with bots so you want to go to private match or just add bots on the screen change the game with a free for all or tdm it doesn't really matter just change it to unlimited just practice for like 15 to 30 minutes just warming up your shot trust me it will save you in the long run it'll probably get to that point where you don't need to do it anymore but if you guys are new to sniping please 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 do this it could really help you on just improving a lot more so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna be starting with gameplay and movement and spawn traps and everything you didn't know about all that so let's get right into it but i do want all of you guys to practice your shots in private match if you guys have time i used to do it all the time as you guys see right now i am practicing on bots right now and i'm going to be explaining a little bit about centering now how to send your shots i do it all the time and as you guys can see right now on the screen i am now centering my shot i have to make sure the enemy is at the middle of my screen i stand still a little bit and then i center my shot right i quick scope i just make sure all the time that you can send your shots when using the tundra or pellington or the barret now i just know that you can actually drag scope with the tundra a lot better than the pellington and i'll be showing that in a few seconds but just practice your centering centering is probably the key to just sniping i would say in general or key to quick scoping it's just a lot better for you and you'll definitely improve on more the more and more you try to center your shots and now next we're gonna talk about drag scoping and now drag scoping is something you also have to get used to but it's something that us that are used to sniping do it all the time and as you can see right now on the screen i'm drag scoping with the tundra i noticed that you can use the tundra a lot better than a pellington when it comes to drag scoping so it's something you have to get used to i always just make sure still to this day that i'm always paying attention to the middle of the screen sometimes i'll add a little style to it i'll 360 and all that stuff but i know that drag scoping is the way to go for myself once again either or is fine especially with the tundra so either sending your shots or drag scoping with the pellington it's a lot better to send your shots than drag scoping but you can also do the same but i just prefer and would recommend 
recommend sending your shots with the pelling tip. And now next on the topic, I'll be talking about G sliding. Now, as you can see right now, I usually go on cover and I try to slide off to go faster. I'm always a lot faster and another attachment that you want to use is speaker. But when it comes to G sliding, when it comes to movement, it's all about how you jump and you slide. So when I'm jumping out the window right now, I try to slide out the window so it just moves me a lot faster so I can get the places a lot faster. You'll definitely learn a lot more movements the more and more you play. I feel like it just took me some time. When the game first came out, it was pretty difficult because I was just so used to Modern Warfare movement, but I just know that sliding out the window or maybe jumping and sliding is just a lot better for me. Sometimes I'll just have like a weird movement. Sometimes I'll 360 a lot. Sometimes I'll do all that stuff, but I just know that jumping and sliding for me is just a lot better. There's not always moments where you have to do it every single time as you don't have to always jump and slide at all times. It's definitely not the way to go, but when it comes to just jumping and sliding out windows or maybe objects or any of that stuff, it's definitely a lot better when so you can get to places a lot faster. And now next thing we're going to talk about is spawn trapping. Now spawn trapping is something you definitely have to get used to, but it's something that you can learn very, very quick. As you guys can see on the screen right now, I'm going to be doing this on Moscow. I'll show a whole bunch of clips, a whole bunch of maps of where you guys can spawn trap. This one is on Moscow Domination. Now Moscow Domination is pretty good for spawn trapping. As you guys see it right now on the screen, that they're all spawning in the room. And now they're going to keep spawning there the more I kill them because they're all in that room. So they're holding their own spawns. And now Newtown's another map that's easier to spawn trap, but it all comes down to either having A or B or C or B. And now obviously you can see on the screen right now, I'm spawn trapping them. You're going to keep spawning behind the fence. I'm just doing style points. I'm just 360 everything single time because it's just so much easier to spawn trap it's also on easier on the other side of the map you just have to make sure that no one's in the middle of the map no one's on b or no one's trying to go into your own spawn no crossroads obviously you have to have c or b or a or c now we have a and b i make sure that i'm looking over at the back left of their spawn the back middle or back right they're almost all the time at back left back middle and sometimes on back right so i know my map awareness i know the knowledge so they're always spawning in the back left that's where i was getting the most kills and then i look in the back middle and they were there when i'm trying to hit the clip and now we're gonna look at raid and this is probably one of the more popular spawn traps that can you do on either side is obviously really really good but we have a they have c they were spawning on c side they either are going to spawn back left back middle or in the room on the right side we have to look down the stairs you can also do it on the other side of the map which is also very very popular for clips on a spawn trap which is really good as well and now last thing i want to talk about settings and the settings that are best for you and the reason why i said settings that are best for you because i don't want you to copy all my settings now the first one is 120 fov and now i plan on 120 fov i feel like it works best for me in my opinion you don't really have like the best aim assist when it comes to 120 fov it looks like i move a lot faster than some people or maybe you might think that i look like i move faster than you but it's because i use 120 fov now i do recommend a lower fov to be honest i'm just a maniac and i play on a high fov i do recommend either 105 or 110 now the reason why i choose those fovs is because it's still wide enough it's still far from an fov for you guys to see other people but it's also enough for you guys to still have like a reasonable aim assist and we'll talk about aim assist in a little bit now we're gonna go to my controller settings i play on controller i don't play on KB if you guys that are new i play on 14 14 cents now the reason why i still play on 14 14 cents because i feel like i can control it if you're not used to 14 14 cents and let's say you play on a 10 cents maybe work your way up to 14 14 or maybe work your way up to a higher sensitivity that's not a bad idea at all but i do not recommend you guys from going from 10 cents or maybe eight cents and just going straight up to 14 cents it's not going to work out so i can't really recommend a good sensitivity for you guys but if you guys want to work your way around maybe the eight cents to 12 cents or maybe a little bit lower maybe a little bit higher whatever works for you definitely try out and definitely just experiment what works for you now another one i do want to recommend is playing flip now if you play on a ps4 controller then i do really 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 recommend flip and it means that you shoot and aim with bumpers meaning you shoot with r1 and you aim in with l1 now if you're on an xbox controller i do not recommend this just because i feel like the bumpers on an xbox controller are a lot more clickier if that makes sense i know that you guys can't click on the middle of the button now aim response curve type i never really tried the best with these two linear or dynamic i play on standard so that's what works best for me and now we're gonna go to aim assist i never really tested these legacy and focusing much on aim assist but i do use precision and i used to use standard but precision aim assist is the way to go and now we're gonna look at dead zone now i plan 500 500 on a dead zone this is something that you don't really have to copy me on and i mean that 100 percent use the dead zone what works best for you please mess with these settings if you do have stick drift this will help you a lot better since i don't really have that much stick drift i plan 500 500 and then everything else is basically just default now, i want to thank you guys so much for watching the video once again if you guys did enjoy if you guys want to drop a like if you guys made this far the interview is going to comment down below the word legend to get a shout out in the next video it can also let me know how many of you guys watch to the end as well if you guys do appreciate these kind of videos and maybe i can help you guys i'm sorry if i didn't do my best but if i did once again definitely let me know if any of these settings helped you if any of these tips helped you any type of feedback any comment down below in the comment section helps me out a lot you guys have no idea i do read every single comment if you're new if you guys would drop a sub drop a like i'd really really appreciate it. i do upload every other day if you guys have not noticed yet so please if you're new we're on the road 160,000 subscribers definitely drop a sub i'm live on twitch right now twitch.tv slash bam if you guys want to comment
come through. Thank you guys for watching once again. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Much love. Deuces. Peace out, people.